Also to Norman now, where a disturbing photo is making the rounds ahead of a rivalry high school football game. The altered photo is of Derek Chauvin kneeling on the neck of George Floyd. News 4's Austin Brissett on the night beat in Austin. The district is now responding to this. Yeah, Jolene, Norman schools never mentioned who actually made the picture, only that it was posted by a student regarding the crosstown clash football game between Norman North and Norman High Schools tomorrow night in the school and onlookers alike calling it disrespectful. I was flabbergasted. Um, it was painful. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but this altered one showing Derek Chauvin kneeling on George Floyd's neck shortly before he died, bringing out a lot of emotions for people like Reverend T. Sheree Dickerson with Black Lives Matter Oklahoma City. I was astonished. Norman Schools saying in a statement to News 4, they were made aware of a, quote, disturbing social media post by a student ahead of the upcoming rivalry football game between Norman North and Norman High Schools. A Norman North logo placed on Chauvin's head, while a Norman High School logo covers that of George Floyd. To see that image exploited um, and manufactured in such a way, I'm very disappointed. Dickerson saying she understands mistakes are made at a young age and believes young people are usually empathetic and aware of what's going on. This was definitely a different level, in my opinion. But still calls it unacceptable, while pointing to adults and other leadership. We're not doing a very good job. We see a lot of the same type of pervasive and inappropriate actions um, from our adults. Norman Schools saying the district is investigating, calling the nature of the post insensitive and the underlying message, quote, completely inappropriate and unacceptable. I think every person, regardless of race, ethnicity, um, religious background, um, or even how they politically identify, should be offended. I'm hoping that it is a, a learning moment um, and that it is, uh, we don't see it repeated. Well, the district is also investigating a recording of a middle school teacher allegedly telling kids they have to choose between being Christian and supporting the LGBTQ plus community. Now, Norman Schools calling those remarks inappropriate and saying they have no place in the classroom.